Um, okay, right, so, so what are we discussing this week, Anthony? This week we are going to um, discuss um, our Template Man and our Digital Puppet Store. Um, a lot of people have been downloading it, and we're just going to do a quick walkthrough and show how easy it is to actually um, adapt the character, uh, customize it to um, make it look like yourself, or just change it around just using the elements that's involved in the character. So, if I get yep, this right one yeah. up. Okay, let's get started with that then. Okay, here's our template character, which um, you see. And right, if you go into the Photoshop file, and then you might have to move your head out of the way a little bit so they can see the layers. Right now, click on the body and double click because it's a smart folder which will bring you into a nested file. Oh. Right, so once you're inside, um, if you've got a logo for your character, if he's a businessman um, or a company character, you can import a image by going to file and selecting place locate the file on your computer you'll see here I'm just looking for a ping file of our logo and the reason you want a ping file is got a transparent background it won't have that white square around it right here we go and place that on the body right now obviously every company has their own colors you know their brand colors so you might not want white and you might want to change the color and you can do that it's easy to edit if you go to the layers and select the body double uh, select the filter and just change the colors in the gradient so I'm going to go for black right here get the color right Right, so that's changed the colour of the shirt, but the outline is still grey. So, right, now click that off. Okay. So, find where the outlines are in the layers. Again, click on filter, and you'll see there is a colour overlay. So, double click on it. Uh, select the colour you want. In this case, I want it to be jet black. So press OK, and that's changed the colours there. You do need to change the neckline colour as well. So double click on that, change the colour to that. Um, I don't want it to be jet black, so let's bring it a little bit more grey so it blends in better. Righty-o, press OK, OK, save it. And then go back to the main file, and you should see that it's updated. There you go, so right, that's the body updated. Now, if you save this file, and then go back to Cater Animator, you should see that it's automatically updated. There you go, you can see it's incorporating the edits from the master Photoshop file. Any minute now. Ta da! There you go. Right, that's not all, there is more you can do because we have created some props for the character. So go back to Photoshop. And if you downloaded the props, as you can see here, it's really simple to update your character with any new um, things that we make for the character. So, so in this case, if you select what you want, so we're going to go for the glasses. I'm going to add glasses, find the folder, and we're going to make sure it's going to go in the right place. We want it to go to the top, so it goes over the top of the face. Right, now duplicate it. Go to duplicate and then right click down here and make sure the duplication goes to the other folder which should come up and there you go you can see you've got the glasses the folder is now dropped into place put everything where it should be now obviously you might not want the glasses to be on all the time so what I'm going to do here I'm going to put into brackets the letter the trigger letter that I want so for glasses, I'm going to put G, so that's brackets G, explanation mark, brackets again, and sun, um, for the sunglasses, I'm going to go for S, so brackets S, um, exclamation mark, brackets, and again, I'm going to save it. Oh, hang on, no, I'm going to <laughs> add the um, iPad as well, same as before, find the folder, 
um, duplicate it and duplicate it to the main master file and it should appear where you want it to go to and again I'm going to give it a trigger letter and I think I'll go for the number five because you have a hands uh, four six and whatnot oops hang on type it in properly right save it and again go back to cater animator and it should have automatically updated once you click onto it right give it a second to incorporate them changes now you're not seeing anything at the moment because obviously they're all trigger layers i'm going to pop straight back into the main puppet rigging layer once it's loaded properly right yep yeah. and obviously the glasses the ipad i'm going to latch them so when i trigger them they you know i don't have to keep my finger on it so go down to latch tick the boxes on those do the same for the ipad right go back to the scene and now when i press the buttons there you go glasses press s and the sunglasses should come on press the number five and the ipad's there and then you can press all them buttons again and obviously they'll disappear as i'm sure you already know and that is how you can easily edit and update our template character model and we're going to be adding a lot more new features um, such as hairstyles um, different clothes different props um, if there's any particular thing you would like us to add um, feel free to drop us a comment on our if you go to our page www digitalpuppets.co.uk forward slash store you'll see we've got a comment section put a comment let us know what features you, um, features you would like um, you might want a different expression different props different clothes um, let us know we'll add them and we'll bump them on the um, template puppets are currently five pounds um, the whenever we add a new prop they're generally between five pounds or ten pounds at the moment we've got um, three template men um white black asian we are looking to update with a woman soon and again drop us a comment on what you might like and we'll work on them as soon as possible anthony you got anything to add no I think that's it um like i said uh, as you said if anyone has any suggestions not just for the template characters but for any of the um any custom characters that i'd like to see on the store let us know and we'll um, put them on our list of things to create and um, try and get them up there as soon as possible. Yeah, the two things that are at the top of our list at the moment is we're going to make um, a woman template character, and for a custom character, we're thinking Father Christmas, isn't it? Is yeah, I think one uh, of the ones we're we need to make next. it Father Christmas. Yep. Well then. Right, okay, we're not much longer the show, but before we do go, Anthony, um, have we got any questions? Well, I'm going to look down at my iPad here and have... A look let's have a look um well right, let's see we've got any questions um all right um, the basic pilot when i use my logitech c920 um which is the exact same webcam that i've got what do you say um the uh, yeah the, the audio, audio always low. um the audio is always too low to be fair, uh, most uh, mics through webcams aren't that great. Uh, we use um, external microphones, and they work a lot better. Um, I think you are kind of better off um, investing in a better microphone. Um, so far, whatever, whenever we've tried to use the uh, any webcam mic, it just ha isn't great. You know, you get tinny sound, low sounds, and also the distances away that you are from your webcam. That makes a big difference as well. I mean, I've got my mic right up to me at the moment, whereas if I was going through my webcam mic, it's you know a good foot or so away. So yeah, I would uh, suggest um, an external microphone. Righty, oh, um, I think that is pretty much. That was really the only question in regards to character animator. There was a few questions that we missed 
earlier, which we might be able to help with. Um, uh, there is another question from Basic Pilot. How do you handle audio on vMix when you have a clip to play back so that you can hear the clip without headphones on and be able to talk over without the feedback? This is um, pretty much the issues we've been trying to sort out over the past few weeks. Um, all, any problems that we've had so far have generally been with um, audio, but the way to do it, I mean, you can... Um, uh, there is a whole. I think we'd have to do a whole kind of a uh, tutorial based around that. It's quite complicated, um, but it shouldn't be. But like I said, we've been having issues ourselves. So when we get it figured out ourselves, I think that will be one of our tutorial videos. Um, it's been a lot of trial and error at the moment. Um, there is settings within vMix, so you've got different channels. You've got master A and B, which is uh, there's a way of splitting the channels. So um, you can kind of choose what's output into what output, but then it all depends on what your setup is. If you're, um, you know, we're, we're, we've got two characters with vMix cool and things like that. So yeah, it, it's all dependent on whatever your setup is, but hopefully in the future we'll do a full on, once we kind of figure it out properly ourselves, which we're, I think we're kind of getting there now, we'll uh, have to make a tutorial just for that, I think. Yeah, it's definitely audio has been um, the biggest problem that we've run into, and that's not saying that's not the fault of the software. It's just, uh, as Anthony said, a learning curve, um, and we're definitely getting there. So we will do um, a new video. Maybe that's one that we can cover next week. Well, yeah, I've been um, just I've been looking about... into um, uh, some software called uh, Virtual. Uh, what's it called? Um, my... I'll find out what it is now. It is virtual cables. Um, that's worth looking into. There's some uh, tutorials if you look on YouTube about it already, um, and it's a way of splitting different software to uh, for different playback. So you've got you know a game running, say, and another bit of software on your desktop. You can split them all to come through different audio outputs. Um, yeah, the whole audio thing's a, a bit of a minefield, but it's worth a bit of research and looking into. Um, uh, Basic Pilot also asks, how can you select a different mic? Um, if you mean with Character Animator, you can do that within Preferences. Preferences. Yeah. I'll sh quickly just show you. Um, if you go to your... Go to Edit and Preferences. And go to Default Input. Within there, that's where you get um, your different options, and you know you can see I've got different mics here. That's generally the if you've got a new mic put in, that's the best way to do it. Okay. Right, there was one question. Oh, sorry, so I'm looking at the um, iPad. Okay, um, yeah, there was another question. Yeah, well, actually, there was a question from right back in the beginning that we missed. Um, which was a character animator question from um, Ajax uh, 006, and it was: Is there any other app, brackets NDI, for live streaming? Um, because he doesn't have a Mac. You know, so. Oh yeah, there's a few. The there's a OBS, Wirecast. Um, yeah, I think there's a. Those are the only two I can think of off the top of my head. I mean, there was Cython as well. As, I mean, we work with PCs, so we don't work with Macs. But I know um, uh, Dave from uh, Character Animator, they use uh, Wirecast for their live uh, setups, I think. So, yeah, I think Wirecast is probably the best bet to look into. And I think the... Um... No, hang on, what's this? Oh, one second. I did add a USB... Do, 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 do. Oh, it's okay. Uh, I think that we, we answered the question. You just said. Okay, well, I think. Um... Right, okay, I think that's all the questions. Yeah. And um, I think that's it for this week's episode. I think we've run right over time. This is the longest episode so far. Yeah. Normally, we started out at 20 minutes, then it was 30 minutes, then I think the last one was 45, and we're well over an hour today. Yeah, so um, I think it's time to say goodbye to everyone, and thanks for watching. And again, any comp. Um, any more questions, just feel free to 
add some more comments and we will always try and answer the best we can one last thing i'd like to add just before you cut us off and yeah. if there is anybody out there who is doing anything interesting with kaito animator if you're on twitch if you're making cartoon content on youtube and you want to talk about what you're producing feel free to drop us a comment and we'll get you on the show and you can tell us and the audience all about what you're working on yeah and send us any um... you can either leave a comment below or you can email us direct at info at digitalpuppets.co.uk i say and send us any videos of anything that you're making uh, we'll happily showcase anything that you've done we want to um you know kind of spread the word and show people show people what can be done with character animator and you know how these things can be you know how shows like this can be made so okay then well, that's it then i think we've kept everyone long enough if anyone's still watching <laughs> if okay. you are thank you very much and we'll see you next week same time 9 p.m uk 1 p.m west coast america 5 p.m east coast america 10 p.m central europe 6 a.m Australia around one o'clock in the morning. Asia, good night. Yeah. Okay. See you later. Bye. Drop curtains. <laughs> Oops.